We're very excited uh, that game week has finally arrived. Uh, we've obviously been talking uh, a lot, uh, you folks here in the room, as we've gone through training camp. Um, and we've been pleased with, with training camp. We've left it healthy, about as healthy as you could be as a football team after uh, mid-20s worth of practices. Um, we now get into a normal flow of routine as school starts today uh, and, and have a, a, a typical game week progression. We're, we're excited about the challenge uh, that North Dakota State brings to us as the three-time uh, defending national champions and, and winners of 24 straight games. Uh, they have our, our kids' full attention as they should uh, and we are, we're going to need uh, great preparation the rest of the week to put us on the field and give us an opportunity come Saturday morning. Well, I, I think what you see without assigning a, a level is, is a team that belongs on a national level. This is a team that has won three national championships in a row at their level. This is a team that has played up uh, and, 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 and beat the quote-unquote big boys uh, at, at the FBS level. So I, I, don't, I don't know how you can assign that other than to say that they can beat anybody in America on, on any given day uh, based on how they've executed uh, and, and based on how extremely hard they play. Uh, they are a well-coached, hard-playing football program. We, we, we think they are an established football program with, with uh, not only key personnel but key coaches in place um, that know that culture, a culture of winning, um, and, and to me, that's the biggest uh, successful piece, regardless of a head coach moving on, graduated seniors, whoever you want to talk about. There isn't anybody in that program that doesn't uh, know how to win and expect to win uh, when they take the field. They'll, they'll, they'll get on the buses and they'll come into Ames, Iowa, expecting to win uh, their first game of the season. You, you focus on one game preparation and being ready to play that one game. Um, you, do, you don't have to spend much time uh, emphasizing um, how we started the season last year um, and that the challenge this year is, is, is just as great, just as hard. Um, we've had excellent focus uh, as well as preparation leading into this game and, and uh, our, our guys' eyes are wide open. It's very crucial in, in my opinion. I, I probably place more emphasis on it than, than most. Um, a lot of guys don't want to do that. There's, there's 11 more games to play. Um, and, and I would argue that uh, the start of our season um, beyond the opener and, 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 and the first two games was uh, affected by that, that opening game loss. Now, there was a lot of health reasons that, that went into affecting it also. Um, but yeah, you, you, you've practiced a long time to put a product on the field and you want to go out and play well. Uh, and you certainly want to go out and succeed. Uh, well, that, that's, uh, you know, it's, it's like uh, when you throw seven on seven uh, uh, on air, uh, you, you got a 24 play script on air. You're not, no, nobody out there defending, you're just running plays. It's hard to complete 24 straight passes in a row in, in that regard, let alone uh, win 24 football games in a row. And, and they play in a competitive league. Uh, they, they've made runs through the playoffs. Um, it, it takes unbelievable focus to, to, to stick to that. It takes great health uh, uh, and durability of your players. Um, yeah, it, it it's, it's, uh, doesn't show remarkable what, what they've accomplished up there in Fargo. They are a, a, a run, stopping first defense, which is a mark of all great defenses. They're, they're going to have enough uh, uh, or plenty, however you want to say it, of, of, of schemes where they're going to have enough people in the box to stop the run. Their safeties are going to be very involved in run defense. Um, and probably the most uh, uh, thing that, that jumps off the tape at me is how hard their kids play that, that, I, that I referred to before. Um, from the front end of the back, from the back to the front. These guys play sideline to sideline and they play hard. And, and that's that established culture of winning and why they've been successful. Um, it's not that uh, uh, they've, they've got great players, don't get me wrong, but it's not like they've uh, uh, put together a roster of, of four-star, five-star players. They, they put together guys that love to play the game of football, that are well coached and play it well and play it hard every single snap of the game. Power oriented, um, and, and, and that's, that's an old school uh, uh, offense. Uh, you're going to see a lot of tight ends on the field that you don't see from most folks anymore. You're going to see them lined up right next to each other, those, those tight ends. Uh, and, and they're going to come downhill at you. They play with a position called a fullback. 
F U L L, and and he does everything. Uh, he lines up as a fullback. He lines up as an H back. He lines up as a tight end. He moves around. He catches the ball. Um, he's obviously a, a, a great blocker. Um, and and they're they're going to run a power game with play action pass off of that. Um, with, with those kinds of personnel on the field. They're also going to expand uh, and, and play out of a three-wide receiver set and, and, and see a, a, a style of formation that, that's more widely recognized today. Energy, um, an excited attitude, a, a coachable attitude. Every, every time they, they come to work, every time they come to practice, I bet Mark Mangino's commented about it uh, uh, once every three, four days if, if, if he's commented about anything. These guys are fun to coach. They, they, they really like to play the game. They like to show up. Uh, they like to work. And, and I think that's a trademark of, of, uh, of the culture of our program, even more so with this group. When I talk to them on Sunday, August 3rd, our report date, um, you know, that's what I told them. This is a different team. Um, it's 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 had that uh, air about them all summer long that we were fortunate to be around. Um, that they, they, they like being around each other. Um, they like the work and sweat that goes into it. They don't mind getting coached when they're wrong. Uh, there, there, there's no ego or or, or uh, um, I could say you know a lot of ways to describe that. And, and they've worked hard to improve upon those mistakes once they've been pointed out. Um, they, they've responded to what we've laid out in training camp going into game week and, and uh, yeah, anxious to see how they'll perform now on a field against somebody else.